Good morning, class. I would like to teach Y1, Y2, Y0. We're going to utilize our Y equals button on our TI-83 plus calculator and use it to solve for one variable. Now, I'm looking at question 21 on my screen. You see 3 parentheses 2N plus 1 and 2 tenths, close that parentheses, equals 6 parentheses 3N minus 4 parentheses. Now, you can solve that with triangle, circle, and do distributive property and solve for N. Um, I can also use my calculator. Now, I'm going to go, I've already cleared it, I'm going to go to y equals, and I want to put this left side in y1, and I want to put the right side in y2. So this one's going to go on y1, and this one goes in y2. And the reason I do first and second, because logically it's first and the other one is second. So I'm going to type that in. You can see I've typed it in, and if you look at my calculator and that equation, you'll notice one thing different. They used n and I used x. The reason you have to use x because there is no n axis. You have an x axis and a y axis. And y is already used, so you must use x. And it wouldn't change the answer whatsoever. So I've got the equation in, and now I've got y1, y2, y0. So I'm going to go to graph. Now, if you're looking at my graph, do the lines cross? They don't. They have to cross. Now, you've got some options. You can reset the windows yourself, or you can zoom out, zoom in. You can zoom fit. You can zoom square, whichever zooms you want. I'll play with the windows. I think I just need to go up some. So I'm at negative 10, positive 10, 1. So I think maybe 20 will work. So negative 20, 20, 2, negative 20, 20, 2. And if it doesn't, I'll make it work. I'm seeing the lines cross right about there. So let's see if it works. So I'm going to do second trace. I'm going to push 5 for intersection. And I'm going to push enter three times. 1, 2, 3. 2.3 2 is the answer. Right there it says. Now if you're curious about the 17.4, that's the y value. That's already been pre... That is not your answer. You're solving for x. Don't worry about this one. So 2.3. So in my gridable here, I'll type put in 2.3. Remember, bubble in the 2 carefully, bubble in your 3. You can use this process to solve for one variable equations. You put the left side in y1, the right side in y2. As long as you have one variable, you should not have any trouble. Make sure when you're looking at your graph that the two lines cross. X marks the spot, said Indiana Jones, and if you don't have an X, your calculator will not calibrate intersection until it does. Thank you for watching my video.